Well, the storm is hitting just when many of us were getting used to those mild temperatures and thoughts of spring. Molly Rosenblatt picks up our team coverage down in Rochester. What's it look like there, Molly? Well, you know, a much different story for us than what we saw a couple of weeks ago. Snow, sleet, freezing temperatures. Earlier today, we saw a bit of a lull in the action, but now things are picking up. The winds are kicking up and the snow, it's coming down. Rochester remains under a winter storm warning until noon tomorrow. We caught up with residents to today to see how they're preparing. The moderate wet snowfall here in Rochester today didn't have much of an impact on driving conditions. Most people we caught up with tell us it's annoying, but not surprising. No, you knew it was going to get you sometime, so. It's still March, so he expects things like this. I think it's all right. It's okay. It's a little bit more than we needed, but whatever. No big deal. While the snow melted on streets and sidewalks, more than a foot is possible by tomorrow afternoon, and residents say they're gearing up for it. Well, we checked, you know, is there gas in the snowblower? Yep, so we're good. It'll only be here a couple of days, if that, so. And as the winds kick up and more snow moves in, driving conditions could become quite dangerous, and many say they just plan on staying at home. Bought enough food, potato chips, you see we're eating healthy. <laughs> so, no, we're good to go. We're good to stay, I guess, so. It's fine, it's Minnesota. Have to expect it. And Rochester Public Schools are closed for tomorrow. As conditions continue to worsen tonight, it's best to avoid travel, stay off the roads. And speaking of the roads, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield is in our mobile weather watcher in the South Metro. Susan, how are things looking there? Well, Molly, things are pretty dicey right here. We're only in the South Metro, but it's pretty severe. When you look outside, I'm going to show you, it's really an all out winter storm at this point. Now, MnDOT is reporting 10 accidents right now, and they say, hey, it's rush hour. Our plows, they're going to be slow. Don't expect smooth plow roads. And they bring up the point, hey, we think you may think Oh, it's trite to say drive slow, but this is really one of those important times to drive slow. We're going about 30 miles per hour in the mobile weather watcher. It's a suburban, a heavy car. We're just kind of sneaking along here and trying to be extra careful, but that's what MnDOT says we all need to remember right now. It is still winter in some ways on the roadways. We're seeing it, and again, they say it's trite, but slow down. No, it's good advice. It's safe advice. Thank you, Susan Elizabeth. Well, we would very much like to see how much snow is falling where you are. You can send your pictures or video to photos at WCCO.com.